What's up everyone? I have a rootlink victory for you today. Rootlink is a pretty interesting unit that they have added in the Unicorn Pack update. It is tier 4 with a stat line of 1-5 and its ability is that it gives pets with lower HP than it plus 1 plus 1 up to 2 pets at a time at the end of every single turn. So it's kind of like the penguin but instead of looking for high levels it looks for uh, having no HP instead which honestly I think makes it a little bit worse. It is a scaler that needs to be scaled up by that logic and uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be picking up a couple of scalers and comparing how they all work together comparing how well they work uh, next to each other and like uh, which one outperforms the other but uh, yeah just looking at the ability itself I can kind of tell that it's a little bit worse than the sea lion a little bit worse than the dragonfly and also a lot worse than any of the tier 5 scalers like the poodle and the husky so that makes it kind of difficult to put it in a custom pack I have to say and it is a custom pack specific pet so you don't get to play around with it in unicorn pack for example. So yeah I don't know if it's worth putting it in but we are going to experiment and discern how it will all turn out but for now we are just going to hopefully not lose too much and we have a pretty decent setup with a lucky cat plus a ogopogo. So we'll be getting lots of gold every single turn as well as a couple of stats on the lucky cat in battle. I am going to take double level ups here because the root link is tier 4 and also I did say I wanted to compare it to other scalers so hopefully we get to do that too. But uh, unfortunately we don't hit anything that we want instead we get a blobfish plus a gingerbread man so at least we'll get to use that on the lucky cat. And that means we'll be getting a level 3 lucky cat in the middle of the fight. So that is an insane amount of stats and also an insane amount of gold every single turn. Here we do get a little unlucky with their bat hitting our biggest unit precisely but we still have the stats necessary for us to win. I did also take a caterpillar last turn because it's going to be a free level up on turn 7. And as many of you know in custom packs turn 7 level ups are crucial to have so we are going to take that. We are putting rice on our stuff because we are preparing for a big transition next turn. Here we are going to continue winning. We just have a 20 attack 20 HP unit on turn 6 so that is incredibly difficult for any opponent to deal with. And here we go we find a poodle in shop. So we're going to take that for the sake of comparison with the rootling that we're going to pick up. We're also going to take a lobster because that is going to give the puzzle some nice starting stats. It's also going to buff the HP of the rootling a little bit once we find it. Here we do find a sea lion in the shop but I am hardcore rolling for the rootling instead and we finally find it. So now I am hoping to see a level 2 crow that I can sell and buff the root link up to level 2 immediately. But for now we are just going to abuse the power of the lucky cat. And thankfully for us it does 2 for 1 but it's still not good enough for us to win because their backline is incredibly strong too. Whatever the case though we also get a monkey on the team which is yet another scaler that I think outperforms the rootling so we'll pick that up as well. Is it really fair to compare a rootling to tier 5 scalers? I'm not really sure but uh, most of the time you are picking up tier 5 scalers instead of tier 4 scalers anyway so I think it's a pretty fair comparison. Here we get pretty lucky with the rootling buffing the two units that we need exactly and the monkeys are going to start buffing the rootling in return too. Losing by 1 HP here isn't too pleasant but with the setup that we have I think we'll be just fine. Uh, all that we need now basically is just to remove the lucky cat and find some unit with a useful in battle ability. And I think I put a couple of those in tier 6 so maybe if we level into one I'll be very happy. Here we get each of the 3 scalers that we have in the shop which is a little bit fun to see. 
so we are getting a level on the monkey and uh, I am going to sell this lucky cat for a lionfish, I don't really want a fourth scaler in the bird of paradise. I've also put out so many videos using the bird of paradise so I think it's fair to give it some rest, instead we'll just focus on the poodle and the rootling too. And I did also freeze a donut, I did that because I believe there is zebra in this pack so I want all of the buffs to go to the rootling because of course we wanted to have high HP. So we'll pick up all the three uh, things that we have frozen, I was going to call them units but of course the donut is not a unit. Or actually I guess we are freezing the rootling for the next turn because we were very lucky and found a chocolate. So now all of these scalers that we have are unfortunately outperforming the root link and they have it with almost no conditions at all. Like monkey is completely unconditional and then the poodle is conditional in the sense that you want multiple tier pets on your team but that's normally how you team build so that's not too much of an issue. So yeah, I think it's just uh, a little bit underwhelming, sadly. I really want to be using it in the future, but unfortunately I cannot say that I will be putting it in my custom packs. Whatever the case though, we should at least enjoy it on this sun as it's getting to 41 HP. So it's safely going to trigger its ability, that's no big deal. Of course what we are doing isn't at all optimal because we want to be buffing the lionfish up instead with the monkey's ability, but that's fine, it's not really the lionfish's time to shine in this run, we want just to show off another tier 4 scaler that we have and hopefully it can get the ribbon this time. We are putting some melon on our stuff. And uh, I think starting from next turn we are going to put some other unit at the front because the root link is basically at 50 HP so its ability is always going to trigger. Here we are going to get another easy victory which kind of tends to happen when you have 3 scalers on the same team. Like I'm sure Grounded would see this team and want to vomit but it's just a relatively easy run and it does show off a new pet so I wanted to play it regardless. So now I think we're going to be buffing up the lionfish, the poodle is going to bring the root link up to 50 HP so we don't even have to worry about it not being completely full when it comes to the HP. Next turn we're going to get a level 3 lionfish as well, extremely luckily, but in the meantime we're going to win. I am kind of disappointed that the donut I picked up didn't get to be used at all, like I put the donut in the pack particularly because of the zebra rootling combo but it turned out to be useless. Whatever the case though I think I will soon bite the bullet and replace it with yet another perk but in the meantime we're just going to hope to win this time. The opponent's team is looking relatively weak but when they have the great one plus lots of snipes it looks always kind of scary and there we just end up winning barely. So now we will replace the donut. It was a waste of 3 gold but whatever the case I think we just have to focus on buy selling some units that give us stats and we will be all good. So we are going to scale up either the monkey or the poodle and uh, I guess now it's time for the monkey to go to the front because both the lionfish and the rootling are going to benefit fully from it. And yeah like it's just a run that plays itself, like you don't have to think too much, you just have to hope for relatively lucky matchups and here we get just that, we end up winning. We are 2 trophies away from the win, it's kind of difficult for us to improve but we can do that by getting a toy in. So we get a stinky sock which is going to reduce the HP of the most healthy enemy unit by 40% which a lot of the time especially when you have a lionfish on the team can be pretty beneficial for you. So we're hoping that kicks in this battle and hopefully we can win because of it. Let's take a look what we face and it is a Nurikabe and this sticky sock proves to be extremely useful right here and we end up winning just barely. And here we go, this is going to be the last turn. We're going to get the ribbon for the root link. I was hoping to find a straight up chocolate instead of having to buy sell the crow and thankfully that is exactly what happened. So now we can buy this cow onto the poodle 
and then we can hopefully get some more stats with the three gold that we have left. It seems like we do have a blue ring octopus and this will be the run. Unfortunately the root link isn't as impressive as it originally seems but I had fun playing with it regardless. It is some mindless scaling and I always enjoy a little bit of that in my runs. So if you did enjoy as well I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff and I will talk to you next time. Take care.